1974, postmodern artist Marina Abravanek performed a piece named Rhythm Zero. I truly believe that this ended up to be one of the most disturbing social experiments known to man. She wanted to see what human beings would do to a helpless stranger who wouldn't move, talk, or do anything for six hours if they knew that there were no consequences. At the art gallery Studio Mora in Naples, she placed 72 objects on the table in front of where she would be standing for the next six hours. Along with the objects lay a note saying, I am an object, you can do whatever you want with me. I will take all responsibility for six hours. On the table there was a large variety of items. Some of these items were made for pleasure, such as grapes, bread and roses and perfume. However, they were also accompanied by items that could be used for cruel intentions. These included scissors, metal bars, long nails, pins, and even a gun with one bullet beside it. Maria explained before the experiment that she was ready to die if needed be, and wouldn't stop the piece for any reason. In the beginning, the public mostly watched in disbelief at the exhibition. After about an hour though, more and more people started to get involved. It started off light, with people trying to tickle her with the feathers that they saw on the table, she would receive hugs and even kisses and was even given items from the table to hold for herself. However, it didn't take long for the public to get bored of treating her well. And this is where the story starts to turn really horrifying. One member of the audience began cutting Marina's neck with a razor blade and then drinking her blood as if it was water. She explained in a TED talk that to this day she still has the scar. Another member covered her with clothing so that she couldn't see his face and then touched her in every place imaginable. Marina explained that some of the men wanted to go further, but they had their wives there who wouldn't allow it. Others started off slapping her lightly, but as soon as they realized she wasn't going to quit her performance, they began hitting her harder and leaving bruises around her body. Two of the audience members even picked up knives from the table and started cutting Marina's body. When she was bruised and cut, an audience member picked up the camera and started taking pictures of her. He then gave her these photographs to hold, showing herself in pain, and then would take more pictures of herself holding these images. After all that occurred, the worst part is the gun that was placed into her hand. A bullet had been loaded into it, and she was positioned to hold it up to her neck with her finger on the trigger. Luckily, someone from the crowd put the gun away, but it took a while as the crowd almost had a fight over if they wanted her to be holding this or not. When the six hours were up, she began to move, she looked at the audience who had caused her so much pain, and they instantly walked away as quick as they could, never looking back or checking if she was okay, and never apologizing for the cruelty they had inflicted upon her. She explained that this piece was evidence of how easily evil could spread, if enough people go along with it and don't speak up. 